what up y'all it's curtis or shot by kurt today's video is gonna be pretty much straight to the point quick simple just an update video on what's been going on and what's going on going forward so if you're new to the channel and you like this update video drop it a like it helps out the channel consider subscribing as new content will be coming soon. So pretty much the last video that I dropped was a vlog. Me and the homie Farley went out. He had just got his A7R2 and I was still shooting on the A7 III, but at this point I'm shooting on Canon. I'm back to Canon. I'm shooting on the EOS R. I got my flip screen back, so that's super dope. And that's one of the reasons why I wasn't creating. It is so annoying to have to put a monitor and you know just rig up the whole thing to just sit down and talk to you guys like it's mad annoying and it was just really not motivating for me so on a little bit of run that I did go on when I was shooting videos I think I did maybe four or five videos straight pretty much I did like a month of uploading um, a video every week and it was fun at first up until the whole process of you know like i said putting the top handle so i could have the extra hot shoe and cold shoe mounts and then putting the monitor and figuring out where to put the um the microphone to not block the monitor it was just it was just a pain and i got tired of it and it kind of turn me away from doing YouTube videos for a little bit until I could, you know, make my way back to Canon, which is something that I actually wanted to do anyway, before the whole R5 and R6 announcement. It's just, I knew that I wanted to make YouTube videos or make more content um, with myself included and, you know, document things and stuff like that when I'm on shoots. And it was just, again, it was a pain because when I'm out in the field and I'm on a set and I don't have anybody to do BTS, it was definitely a pain to like sit and try to hold the camera out and guess what my exposure is or, you know, guess if something's blown out or if I'm even in focus. And even in the vlog, I kind of touched on that where it was blurry and I didn't know that it was blurry until I went back to look at it. And sometimes you can only get a shot once. You don't have enough time to go back and redo shots to make sure that everything's in focus and all of that. So um, I knew from the time that I left Canon that I was probably gonna end up coming back just because of the flip screen. And two, Canon was my first camera. Um, I started with a T6i, I moved on to an 80D, but then I also liked the quality that, um, that Sony was giving off with the 4K and everything. The 1080 wasn't great, but the 4K was super dope. So, you know, I was like, yo, I need to move over to Sony. So I moved over to Sony and um, it was super dope. I made a lot of dope projects with my A7 III, well, my A6400 and then my A7 III, I made a lot of dope projects. But as I got more seasoned as a creator, it just pretty much became inevitable that I was gonna go back to Canon because then I started to realize that I didn't need Sony to make dope stuff. It was just more so like I didn't know exactly how to squeeze all of the quality out of whatever camera I was using prior to going to Sony. Like I said, the T6i and the ADD. Um, I, once I figured out the all eye thing on the ADD, I started squeezing out some dope content, but by that time I had already made up my mind that I was moving to Sony. That's kind of what stopped the uploads. I just wasn't motivated to make videos and have to do all of the extra work when this, I could pretty much just set the camera on the tripod, flip out my screen. I can see everything is in focus and you know, everything is lit up. I don't have to do any extra work or any guessing especially when, like I said, when I'm out in the field by myself and I wanna do some kind of BTS or vlog action, I can just flip the screen out, you know, put it on my gorilla pod or, you know, my other little tripod that I got and I can just get shots like that. It's super easy. Now on top of that, um, I'm gonna touch on this real brief, but um, I have the EOS R, like I said, but 
I do plan on getting either the R5 or the R6. I kind of made up in my mind that I'm gonna get the R5 despite all of the overheating and things like that. I was able to talk to a Canon rep. I got a chance to use the R5 and the R6. And you know, we talked about the overheating thing. And for the way that I shoot, overheating shouldn't be a problem. Um, a lot of my shoots are indoors for the ones that are outdoors the 4k 120 and things like that I shoot in spurts anyway, so I don't see overheating being an issue for me And that's why I'm probably just gonna end up going for going for the r5 So yeah, man, I just wanted to make a video updating y'all on why I went in my a with the uploads and My experience using the a7 III and then switching to the EOS are because the EOS R is my daily driver right now for client work, YouTube, everything. And, and right now I'm fine with that. I'm actually liking the camera a lot. There is some differences between the A7 III and, and the R obviously, but not anything that's crippling to me and that would make me regret make, um, switching. If you go on to like the video, drop it a like as it definitely helps out the channel. Consider hitting subscribe as I will be making new content because I got a flippy screen and I'm back on Canon. But outside all that, man, y'all stay creative and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.